Let's click Add Product or Service. We will add one more product to this distributor. We will enter dock level loading and hit save. Note, up to five services can be entered at a time. Next, we'll click Regulations and Standards. This is a distributor, so they may not have to comply with any standards, but we are going to perform our monitors and measures of this distributor according to our procedures and our fictional company's ISO 9001. Therefore, we're going to enter ISO 9001 2015 and click Save. This will come into play later. Let's complete the record by adding locations and contacts. We'll click the Add a Location button. We will fill this out quickly with example information. Name is West Coast Headquarters. Address, 500 Front Street. Suite, 500. City is Las Vegas and province or state would be NV. Postal code, 88901. Country, USA. In the notes field, we'll put main location. And now we can click create. Let's add a contact as well by clicking add a contact. Here we have Bob Citizen and their title is shipping manager, which of course puts them in the shipping department. We'll add two phone numbers here. For email, we'll add bob at westerntrucking.example, and in the notes field, we'll add them as the primary contact. And now, we can click Create. Great, the information tab of our record is complete. There are no additional hidden options or fields in FreeQMS. As of the time of this video upload, this is as complete as the supplier record will get. Now we've set up our supplier, but our SOP requires us to perform a monitor and measure before we can electronically approve the supplier. As promised in the introduction, we're going to perform two monitors, an objective and a subjective, specifically a complaint review and a website review. Let's begin. We'll click the Supplier Activity tab. Just as in Part 2, let's click Create Supplier Activity. Now, remember from part two, we can perform both monitors within one activity, so we'll not need to repeat this initial form. Let's complete the Create Supplier Activity form. Activity type is a monitor and measure performance. For status, we haven't done this yet, so we'll click New. Description. This is open-ended, but we will describe what we're about to do. Monitor and measure Western Trucking. Assigned to. Here is where we can use FreeQMS to divvy up quality tasks. We could potentially assign this part of the supplier evaluation to someone on our supplier quality team. For purpose of this example, and to save from having to log in and out, we will set this to our logged in user. Start date will be today, and due date will be a week from today. Complete date, we don't know yet. Legacy record ID. It's unlikely, unless you work at a very large company with a detailed supplier quality team, that there would be a number generated for supplier activities. We will put NA here. Remember, FreeQMS will generate a unique ID automatically for this activity as well. Monitors and measures. Again, mind the tooltip here. It tells you you will get the chance to enter as many monitors and measures as you like on the next page. Notes will also be NA. And now we can click Create. Awesome, the monitor and measure performance activities created. Let's select it. Now we're going to complete our two monitors. Just like part two, we'll click the add a monitor or measure button under monitors and measures. Remember, we're going to do two measures. One will be objective in that it is number based. The other will be subjective in that we are performing a written review and making an experience based decision. Let's complete the form for the objective measure. Monitor or measure complaint review. We're going to perform a review of our complaint log and see if any relate to the supplier. Matrix numeric. This is an objective measure. We are looking for a specific number of something. For required performance, we will select the equal sign and then zero. We want zero complaints relating to this supplier. Results and follow up. Here we're going to dive into our example a little more. The title of our measure is Complaint Review, and we're looking for zero complaints. What does this mean? 
Well, this is a new supplier providing distribution, so it's very unlikely they would be involved in any complaints against our product. But our SOP requires this review each time a distributor is reapproved. Why? This is a check against this distributor being involved in complaints, and that are not coming back for consideration during their approval. Or let's look at it another way. Let's say this distributor ran one batch of product as a first run or test run. This distributor distributed 4,000 units of a new product as a test for approval. Did any complaints come back against that run? This is where we would open our complaint log and most likely use Control F, if electronic, to do a search for the name of this distributor, their location, people who deal with them, etc. We want to see if this distributor is involved in any complaints and then take action potentially. This may be the only time this information is reviewed, especially if your organization has separate teams for shipping, complaint fielding, and supplier quality. So we will digress from our long example. Off screen, we opened our complaint log and performed a search which yielded zero complaints related to the supplier. They are a new distributor after all, who was very successful on their test run. So we have a required performance of zero and measured performance of zero. This supplier has satisfied requirements. Let's describe in results and follow up action. There are no complaint records associated with this supplier. No additional action required. There, that wasn't so bad. Products or services, let's check them both. This is a complete look at the supplier. Lots reviewed. If our supplier did a test run or this is a repeat eval, we would put lots reviewed. This may be NA, but we will put a few examples. L34056, L34058, and L34059. Regulations, Standards, and Capabilities. We are performing this complaint review per ISO 9001, even though the supplier is not individually certified. Notes, Initial Evaluation. No complaints were recorded. And let's click Create. Great, we've completed our first monitor, a complaint review. This is a numerically driven, objective review, but we should attach evidence. Let's click Add Supplier Activity Verification. In the Evidence field, we will enter Copy of Current Complaint Log as of Complaint Review. Click Upload. Here we will find our dummy complaint log. File Notes, provided by Document Control for last calendar year. Click Create. Awesome, now we've completed our review and uploaded evidence. Let's do the next one. Once again, click Add Monitor or Measure. This time we're going to do a more subjective written monitor and measure. Let's describe it. Website review, check for qualifications. Metric, this is a write-in. Required performance. Review distributor's website to confirm distributor has capacity and capability to transport expected product loads. Measured performance. Remember, this is subjective, and although these may be required by your organization, they have their faults, as do all subjective assessments in their repeatability. In this example, we have an engineer review the website who says, Distributor has truck-level dock loading and adequate equipment to accommodate the weight of our pallets as shipped. Results and follow-up actions. Obtain detailed quote from distributor. No additional actions necessary. Distributor fulfills requirements. For products or services, we'll click them both. Lots reviewed can be NA. Regulations will be ISO 9001, and notes will put NA again. Now we can click Create. Great, now we have two monitors complete. But once again, we could use some evidence for the second one. Let's click Add Supplier Activity Verification again. For evidence, we'll say Website as reviewed when printed to PDF. Click Upload, and we'll find the PDF. In file notes, we'll say applicable sections are circled, initialed, and dated. Let's click create. Awesome, now we have two monitors and two sets of evidence. We need to do just one more thing. Let's scroll to the top of this page and click edit. We're going to set our activity status to closed and enter a complete date of today. Our monitor and measure activity is finished and it's time for the supplier team to move with approving this record. Let's scroll down and hit save. Now we've created a distributor and completed two monitors and measures. There's still work to be done potentially on this record, such as uploading files and performing electronic approval. 
Fortunately, the FreeQMS team has already prepared excellent videos on both of these subjects. You can view the video on uploading files to a record here, and view a detailed video on electronic approval cycles here. We hope everyone enjoyed and learned from this detailed look at the monitoring and measurement of suppliers in FreeQMS. Happy supplier quality, everyone!